If you have weeds in your pasture that look like this, and you'd rather they look like this, and this, and this, various stages of their demise, then maybe you need to try what we tried. Spraying pastures with a drone. So we got a company out here today gonna spray our pastures for weeds, weed control, and they're doing it with a drone. First time we've done this with a drone, pretty neat. Gonna be pretty neat, some pretty neat footage, I think. I think you're gonna wanna stick around for it. Charging it, uh, I don't know how many batteries they run. I'll try to get with him and, and ask him more questions uh, and see how many batteries they run, how many batteries they have to keep up. And uh, looks like maybe a 10 gallon tank on it. And uh, anyway, pretty, uh, very neat operation. We're in East Texas. I'll give you the name of these folks uh, so you can uh, contact them if you need to. When you're, when you're dealing with a property that's maybe wet, maybe this time of year, we've had a lot of rain. Uh, this is the perfect way to do that. You don't have to get a tractor out there and cut the ruts in the ground. You don't have to get stuck. I mean, it's just the way to the way to go on on this. So, um, very interesting way to do this, and just excited about getting it done. We have weeds everywhere. Again, been a very rainy spring and even early summer, and uh, ready to get rid of these weeds. He told us to kind of get back a little bit. There's a pretty good amount of wash prop wash down on that thing when they take off and it also the prop wash helps distribute the product helps force it down on the plants uh that you want it on so there's some places he's not going to get uh close to garden areas and things like that but the pastures are kind of uh open target for them and that's where all the weeds are anyway pretty much he drove the four wheeler around quite a bit to map out the area and then, um, and, and that's pretty much does it from then on. It's, uh, you know, it's kind of, I guess, uh, self-driving to a sense. I don't know whether they take the controls on occasion or not. What they're using will, uh, or they, can, they can, they've brought a chemical that can also get some, uh, aquatic weeds. And, um, so hopefully they can get that done too. But uh, we'll try to get some close-up shots. We'll, we'll have to get downwind. The wind's blowing a lot more today than what, than what we hoped for. I had to cover up some things in my garden, but then uh, he says he's just not gonna do up there by the garden. So it's just too much of a chance because the wind's blowing too, too hard. So uh, I'll get some more footage when it comes back this way. It looks like it might be now. I don't know. He may turn around and go back the other way. They try to stay 30 feet away from trees because they don't want to, you know, damage a tree. In my my place, this this place doesn't have a lot of trees. My place got a lot of trees, so there's going to be a lot of areas he can't get to. But that's just uh, part of the game. Coming back in for a landing. The trailer is about seven feet wide, so it <clears throat> looks to me the. Drone itself is eight or more from uh, prop to prop, from the edge of the prop. Uh, eight feet at least wide, I would think. Of course, it folds up for traveling. Now, we're on my property now. That's my big pond. And he's just edging the, uh, the edges of it, trying, trying not to get too close to the, uh, the main body of water of the pond. Got a lot of that green right there in the middle of your screen that's uh, just weed vegetation that I'd love to get rid of. It's it's hard to mow because it stays wet so long into the summer. And by the time it um, dries up, then it's already seeded out and started the whole 
uh, thing off again for next year, seeding itself out. Sometimes he goes high and just kind of, I think, reorientates himself uh, and then drops down and does the spraying. That's my small pond there. I've got my orchard just to the right of this, fig trees and such, and he's staying pretty good distance away from those. You can see that fig tree there from the fig trees and stuff that I have. He never got he never got real close to it. I'm gonna have to do some of that by hand. Dropping down now, looking it over, going to start spraying again. You see when he turns it on and starts his application. amazing the technology they've come up with now it, it, it really is it's, it's just really cool to be able to do this love to get rid of all that mess he's over out there with all that green I'm a little upwind of him so I'm not concerned about any spray he's not that close to me but still I'm not that concerned about it uh, because the wind is at my back right now It's about a 10 gallon tank and I think they can run for about 10 minutes on a battery. They bring several batteries with them. And in case you're wondering about how much these drones cost, they're about $30,000 a piece. and the batteries and chargers and all that, it, it probably doubles that. But if you're thinking about doing this as a business, I will say this, the operator bought a drone a year or two ago, paid for it on his first application over a huge lake, aquatic, uh, spraying aquatic weeds and stuff. Paid for it in the first applications and he's bought uh, two or three more since then. Of course, you have to have a crew to go out and do it if you're going to go into it big time. But um, if nobody in your area is doing this and you got the cash to lay out, uh, this could absolutely be something that you may want to look at. Of course, you'd need your private applicator's license and things like that. But just a cool way to get the place sprayed. And, uh, man, I'm just glad he did it. And it looks a lot better now. All right, we're gone.